Hi, we're going to do in this video, we're going to look at this angle relationships review, and we're just going to focus on examples one and two. So um, number one, it's giving me this diagram. There's all these rays coming out. But if I look, this right here is a straight line. And this straight line has these two angles on it. It has this 93 degree angle. And then this other angle that says 3x plus 18. So since those two angles are together, make a straight angle, that makes them supplementary. So I'm going to write that the angle relationship is supplementary. I'm going to need to find the value of x. It's asking what x equals. And it's also asking me the measure of the angle that is 3x plus 18. So to do that, I'm going to write an equation. So I write ang this angle here, which is 3x plus 18, plus the other angle. In this relationship is 93 and when I add them together they should equal 180 because they make a straight angle so to solve this equation I have to simplify first so I'm going to combine these like terms and I get 3x plus <clears throat> sorry I'm actually just adding in my head and I was buying time but I keep oh there it is <laughs> just, my head wasn't catching up 111 hey let's ask Google Okay, Google, what's 93 plus 18? 18. Oh, good, I was right. There you go, using my resources. So now I'm going to solve this equation. So once you wrote it down, you can, I'm gonna go through the steps in case that's what you actually need help with. So I'm going to subtract the constant first. So the opposite of add is to subtract. And there it is. And then I get 3x equals, do you think I should ask her again, what 180 minus 111 is? Okay, Google, what's 180 minus 111? See, she's still thinking. I already got the answer. Uh, it's, it's, it's this answer. So now the opposite of multiply is divide. So I divide both sides by 3. And I get x equals 23. Hopefully you didn't write as big as I did. And if you had room. <laughs> oh, she just said something went wrong. Whatever. Anyway, um, so I get x equals 23. Well, I'm not sure if x equals 23, so I'm going to check that. I'm going to check that. Hold on. So I'm going to substitute in the 23 into the angle. So 3 times 23 plus 18. And when I get that, um, right, we add them together, and we get 97, right? Oh, 87. 87. I keep doing it in my head. 87 degrees. This is why you should use a calculator, not try to do it in your head. Now, 87 degrees isn't really anywhere on here, but here's why I know. If 87 plus 93 equals 180, then I have the right answer, and I do. So there you go. That means this angle is 87 degrees. So there's example one. Okay, so I'm going to now look at example number two. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and clear out what I have so far. You wouldn't do that, obviously, on paper, but it was getting cluttered. Okay, so in example two, I have all of these lines intersecting. But let's just focus on the angles that were given. So there's this angle here and this angle here. So now let's focus on the lines they come from. So this angle here and this angle here. So now that I see that, I see that these are vertical angles. And I can ignore that other line. It doesn't matter now because it doesn't affect those angles. So I have two vertical angles. And I know that vertical angles are congruent. They're equal. So that means that um, this, the angle on the left, equals the angle on the right. So let me write that down. I have 2x plus 3, sorry, and that doesn't say 2x, it says 2, plus 3x, that's the one angle, equals the other angle, which is 62 degrees. So let me go back and write this as vertical. So I've got to identify that. And now I've written my equation. If I look at that equation, and um, I can solve it the way that it is, and I will, but since it's addition, you could reorder it. But let's just solve it the way that it is. So I'm supposed to find what x equals and what the angle equals. So now I'm going to solve. 
by, I'm going to subtract the constant. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Notice when I subtract the 2, I line it up with the 2, because a lot of you are lining it up too close to the equal sign, and then you get confused. So take it away from the 2. So that equals. So when I get rid of the 2, I have 3x left, and 62 minus 2 is 60. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I have x equals 20. So now I found what I think x equals, 20. But now I have to check. So I'm going to check it by putting it into, like, RSS. I'm going to substitute it in. So 2 plus 3 times 20. That would equal 62. Well, would it make sense if this angle was 62 degrees over here? Yes, because they're supposed to be the same. And so now they are the same measurement. So there's examples one and two.